I would imagine you would just go to Google and search for Path Analyzer Pro and then go ahead and click it. This is going to be a analyzer tool in which we can, you're going to go click download, scroll down, okay, you can see the, what do you get with the Premiere uh, version, but we're going to go right here to downloads. Alright, you got choices here. You got Mac, you got Windows, you got Debian, you got Red Hat. We're going to go download the one for Windows clearly. We're going to open that up. You can install it right from the location. You don't necessarily need to uh, you know, download and save it. Run through the wizard right quick. Accept the license agreement. You can install it wherever you like. Most of the installs that we'll ever do will literally just be next, 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 next to go use a specific set of features. Okay, so we've been successfully installed. Now we'll go ahead and go down. And then we'll go run the tool. So Path Analyzer Pro. Now, don't forget, we're going to be looking at layer 3 uh, or the OSI model here. Right? A lot of people get that confused. Uh, but basically, to well, we'll look. We'll look at all the options. Uh, but typically, we're at layers uh, 3, sometimes 4, sometimes above. But we'll look at that. Let's go ahead and make that as large as we can. Okay, target www.leodrager.com. Okay, and it's going to run a report. You see it working down here in the bottom right hand side. Okay, you can also start looking at ways to standardize things. Okay, you can use ICMP. TCP or UDP, you just check the one wherever you possibly can. Oh, start with ICMP first. That specifically is layer 3 of the OSI model, as I was referring to. Above that, you have layer 4 of the OSI model, which is TCP connection oriented and UDP connection list. You can choose your source ports, in this case, random, anywhere through that, that would be fine. Um, the different tracing modes, if you want it adaptive, um, or if you want to start getting fancy, okay, you can actually say hello to a ho host by saying goodbye. You send it a finish request, which is kind of like very odd uh, flag, a TCP flag to send to someone because it's like saying, you know, hey, I'm finished, and then walking away. So... You can set the length of the packet. You can set the lifetime in milliseconds and the, uh, the type of service. Okay, these are all options. If you if you know the protocol stack inside and out, then this is like you know home territory for you. But if you if you're new to this or completely new to this, these are parameters that uh, that you're likely to just uh, tweak a little bit every now and again to see how the systems and the and start putting the picture together slowly and slowly and slowly. Okay, if you want, you know, to specify particular sequence numbers or just let it start at one, which is probably the easiest way to go. Um, and that's realistically all we're going to be looking for uh, right now. Okay, so we're going to go to a report. Let's see. One packet's received after TTL. You may change your settings. Okay, you got IP addresses in here. Um, if you just right click these, you can copy this address. That's helpful sometimes, but in this case, this is, um, you know, a home network address being the 192.168.92. You can 
go to uh, synopsis, all right, these are DNS records, so it finds the DNS record 199, 195, whatever it is, you just record that, okay, um, routing, okay, we know it's an IP address, again, layer 3, but it also discloses the subnet mask um, here, okay, um, also, it was able to find their registry information, in this case, a great hosting company. I always recommend A2 uh, Hosting, Inc. If you got any questions about that, you just give me a call. You got intercepts, okay, best lawful intercept. Uh, basically, if uh, law enforcement need to get involved, uh, they would call A2 Hosting, and A2 Hosting would uh, kindly uh, be happy to call me. All right. You know, you get different charts here. This is going to be charts latency in terms of a hops, okay? And then it basically will um, graph it out here. You can change your graphs over here depending on what graph you, you realistically like the best. Uh, I don't have a lot of great data here to, to show you, but if you start going to basically let it calculate, okay, once you do get good information, it, this is the place where this is the place where you get it, okay. Um, geography where it'll pop you out on uh, on the map, okay. You can look at logs. Now this is helpful in here. Okay, because everything that we've been doing ultimately can be done at the command prompt. And realistically, if you want to copy that for your documentation or reporting, this is where you do it. Okay, this is great. You know, select all and copy. All right, that's the type of stuff, stuff that you put in the report once you're done everything here. Okay. Um, and then, of course, any sort of statistics and things like that. Uh, now, this was a one-time trace, but uh, you can also do time traces and continuous traces. Time is clearly has a time into it, and continuous is basically keep going and keep going and keep going, and the interval in which it'll keep going at. You know, Path Analyzer Pro is a is a decent tool in terms of just doing your basic layer two, layer th layer three, and layer four. Not too much layer two here. Um, you do have a history here, though, just so you know. Lastly, preferences: what the time zone is, if it's you know, you need to set it to local. Sometimes that's always helpful. Um, you, you, in rare situations, may you may need to specify local, but um, I would say universal is probably you know everybody's using universal, and that gets all all of us our time zones and everything else. Okay, what port specifically? If you want to specify, you know, DC, uh, default TCP 53, you're not really going to change that. Um, um, and then the destination port that you're trying to hit for both TCP and UDP, uh, both layer 4 information. Um, display, you got some basic stuff. Should you choose to change the colors? Uh, geography. Basically, you have geo-encoding. Um, this is basically will bring any who is information whenever possible. Uh, and I never use the other one. And then data sources. Again, same thing. Prefix who is. And licensing agreement when you, if and when you choose to buy. Okay. So now you can see that uh, since I've been running a continuous trace, it just keeps running and keeps running and keeps running. So we'll go ahead and stop that in terms of uh, statistics, All right? Uh, but in this case, just basic graph information. When you um, scan larger entities other than a particular website, uh, you can you can 
definitely surpass the information here but nonetheless it's just a quick in the grand scheme of things this is just a quick tool for you to kind of just get the the quick basic layer three and layer four information and relate that to a host and connecting those two dots um, the rest would basically be in any of the uh, you know the charts and using you know charts and getting good variables uh, other than the single one and two that I have now it's not uncommon to, to get uh, all sorts of uh, fancy lines other than one. I mean, imagine 30 or 40 here.